all right so welcome back again my name is jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial we're trying to see how to do sentiment analysis with spacey right so we're using a very nice package called spacey test blob so spacey test blob is a package that has that extends spacey to be able to do sentiment analysis so it's using test blob behind the scene so let's see how to work with it so in case you don't have spacey you can just install it with pip install spacey and we are using spacey version 3 and then you need to download a pre-trained model using this particular command that is the first step. So let's see how to work with the package. So you have to just go with pip install spacey test blob, copy this one, go back to your terminal, then you just install it on your system. So that is how to install it on your system, right? I don't have pip, so I just go sudo python then dash m. That is how to install it on your system. Very simple. Okay, then you need to make sure that you download the corpora, right? Perfect. So after installing it, you have to also download the corpora with this particular command. Right, so that is something very simple. So let's start with it. So I'm just going to go back again and I'm going to load my NLP package. So we're going to load our NLP package, which is going to be space to import spacey, right? And then we're going to create an NLP object. So spacey dot load. Then you are using our model, pre-trained model call web SM, right? You are using the small model, right? So that is how to install right load it in your on your system. So let's check the version of space you are using. So the, the version you are using is version 3, right? So in case you are watching from it from the future, so spacey dot version here to be able to see the version we are working with, right? So now let's see how to work with spacey test blob. So the first thing is that you are going to load our package, but it's as I said, it's an extension on spacey. So let's explore the pipelines of spacey right there. Every spacey consists of several pipelines. Let me show you an image of it. So this is the spacey pipeline. Let me bring myself down, reduce myself. That is me, in case you have not seen it before, right? So this is a spacey pipeline. So anytime you create an NLP object, as we already saw here, right? If you created this NLP object, it's going to create this particular pipeline, which is going to have the, right? So which is going to have the tokenizer. So to take the word, right? And then break them into tokens, then it's going to apply the tagging to it, part of the tagging, pass them, then do any error so and then several other things to create a doc right so that is what it does so this is the nlp object that has been created and then we can just explore the various pipelines here so we can explore the various components of the pipeline or components of the pipeline of the nlp pipeline the pipeline very simple there are several ways so the first method is method one you can just go with nlp dot component so this is going to list the components of the pipeline so you can see from here we have a talk to vec right which is referring to the tokenizer right to help us with the token we have parser we have parser we have tagger so we're going to see that we have all of them here so we have the parser the tagger the center and then we have all of these things right so all of these are new additions that have been added to it right so to make it more interesting and powerful so now that is the basic stuff for the version 0.302 so now that is one of the methods. So method two is that you can also do this option. You can just do this method two. So NLP dot pipelines, right? It's pipeline, the pipelines it's supposed to be pipeline. And it's going to give you all of these things, right? So that is the second method. So either you use components or pipeline. In case you want to get only these names here, right? You just go straight away with this. This is something basic by the way. So to get the names, so get the component names, just go with NLP dot component names, right? It's one of the methods, or you can just use still going to list all of them for us. So we have all of these things, and then you can also do NLP dot pipe names, right? Same thing is going to work. It's also going to list it perfectly for us. Perfect. As you can see, we have the tokenizer, tagger, parser, NER attribute ruler and lemmatizer now we'll be trying to use spacey test blob which is an extension right to be able to add sentiment analysis to your spacey right you, initially we saw how to add extensions so we can check the playlist below for that but let's see how to use spacey test blob to do that so this is going to be using see how i spelled it using spacey test blob right so this Spacey test blob allows you to be able to do sentiment analysis. Analysis, right? Using space, using test blob, right? As as an extension behind it, sentiment. So let's check it out. So I'll just make it like this. It is very simple. So this is going to be the first one. This is version three. So it's going to be like this. I'm just going to do it from spacey dot 
from spacey test blob right dot spacey test blob you're going to be importing spacey class right spacey test blob class so this is what we're using so it's supposed to be test blob not test blue right so this is what we're trying to use to help us do whatever i want to do right so we are just using this so once you just call spacey test blob you go to initialize it and then put it in contest right so that you can actually add it to your pipeline now let's add it to our pipeline so this is going to be add into pipeline right perfect so we are going to be adding this particular created spacey test blob class to our pipeline so let's see how to do that it's going to be my nlp that i have dot add pipe right i'm going to just go with this variable so spacey must be the same name so spacey test blob this is for version 0.3 right version 3.0 and upwards so this is how you do it so it's automatically going to identify this as this one right that is the basic way to work with it so i added it to it that is all so we're going to add it to it that has added to it wait you don't need to create a variable for this one but you make you have to make sure that you have imported this now let's check it back again so we're going to be checking our pipeline pipeline if i go back and i check the pipeline or oh, yeah check it with the component so nlp dot component if i go with the component now you can see that it has added that particular one to it so we have it here we have this particular component added right species test blob right that is one of the ways you can also use the normal pipeline as we did so we check with pipeline which again so nlp dot pipe line you can also use this one also and it's also going to work see how i spelled it pipe line right it's still just added to it you can also get the name so just as we had these tokens here right these pipelines names with this you can also do the same thing and this was one two three four five six we have six now but you have added sentiment analysis from species test blob to it so it's going to make it what seven right you can see that just added it here perfect now we have test blob as part of spacey so we can do sentiment analysis so let's check it out so it's very simple so let me bring myself up and let's check it out so i'm going to create my simple sentence so this will be my test which is going to be say i love eating apples right something like that or let's make it john loves eating apples so john loves eating apples when he comes to london right when he works at apple yeah something like that so this is very simple i want to get a sentiment of this i just create my docs so nlp i pass in my test and this is going to create an nlp object which is going to contain all of these various things to neither tag a passer anyhow with all the various features that we can do with it and now in case i want to check for the sentiment of this it's very simple just go with docs right dot bar extension dot then i just specify so i want to get the polarity polarity and this is going to give me the polarity of this particular one which is 0 0.5 right so it is a positive polarity right in case i also want to get this check for sentiment polarity just like you would have done in test blob the same way it's because it is using test blob behind the scene and i can go back again and let's say check for subjectivity subjectivity right same thing doc dot extension right that is extend then i'll go with my sub subjectivity it's still going to give us the same thing 0 0.6 so this is subjectivity 0 0.6 and then this is the polarity you can also check for the assessment of it so you can also check for the assessment so the assessment is going to be assessment is going to be going to list the polarity like polarity and then subjectivity for the assessed token right so the particular token within our test by which it is giving us that particular polarity right so that's what it's going to do subjectivity it's what is all subjectivity okay so let's check it out so it's very simple same way we did come back again so docs dot extension right dot assessment so this is going to give us the assessment so assessment i think it's assessment here yeah, as well so the word the reason why it gives us this 
positive polarity, right? It's because of the word love here, right? It's telling us that particular word, and this is the subjectivity for them, right? That is the polarity, and this is the subjectivity. Very simple. So, this is how to do sentiment analysis using species test plot. Very, very simple. So, all you need to do is that you just have to make sure that you have installed it on your system. You already have space installed and just go with pip install test space test blob you just download the copra that is all you create your spacey objects and it'll be objects and then you just import from space test blob to space test blob import space test blob that is all this is for version three right mm -hmm. and it's going to work perfectly for you then you just add it add it to your nlp object that you created and you can see that just have been added to our objects as you can see it from here from the components from the pipeline, you have also seen that it's there, right? Perfect. You have even seen from the names that has added it to it. And now you just create your NLP object, your document, and then you can just go with dot polarity dot subjectivity dot assessment. You, this is still, you can also use PC on it, right? The normal stuff you can do. So this is the basics. It's going to be for token in my docs. It's still going to work, right? The same thing. Then print in case I want to get the so token the test is still going to work token dot pos tag right and token uh, all of these things still work right because this is just an extension token dot tax right so this is also going to work perfectly for you right i made a mistake somewhere let's fix it it's supposed to be tag not tax right i made a mistake so it's perfect so everything is working like normal so that is how to add sentiment analysis or to do sentiment analysis using spacey so thank you for watching and see the next session stay blessed one more thing in case you are in spacey version 2 right this is for spacey version 2 all you have to do is just have to create a variable called spacey test blob right then you just call it a like spacey test blob right so that is in case you are in version 2 then you pass it there to so nlp dot add pipe right then you pass in your spacey test blog this is in case you are working in version 2 right this is for only version 2 so thank you for watching see you another time stay blessed bye